I'll look right at it, yeah. Hello, we are Sunseeker, and you're listening to WNXP, which is Nashville's music experience. Should I burn? 
gonna change Nothing's gonna change much Nothing's gonna change Nothing's gonna change much Nothing's gonna Sonic Cathedral at WNXP. I'm Celia, and this is Sunseeker, neighbors and friends, but first-time visitors to this space, and we're so grateful that you played some songs for us. Welcome, guys. Thank you. We're happy to be here. I'm sorry we didn't have enough stools for the band members, but oh, yeah. you're making do. This is kind of how we do it. It's uh, fine. Any extra stool is thrown away. We I came in here and immediately threw away all the extra I mean, I could ask about the intimacy you've formed as a band over several years, but I think we can see. Yeah. To us, it's important. 
Yeah. Well, how does that translate into the music? You played some songs from your 2021 record, which was your first full-length record, right? Even after yes. we jammed together for years and years. Um, loved hearing those songs and a brand new one. We'll come back to that. Tell me about making the record uh, and imagine it was a time that creatively was maybe pre-pandemic, but also a little bit post when you're finally pushing it out into the world. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. So Sunrise in a Basement, we recorded, we started recording it in December of 2019 and we finished it kind of like right before COVID. So it definitely delayed much of the process, but happy that it's out. Happy to play the songs. They've, they're also like, songs that we've already had for a long time so it's good to just have things come out Mm -hmm. for it's it's harder than it should be but it happened so it's good say more about harder than it should be to release an album yeah i feel like we've had a hard time figuring out how to do it and so and we still don't know how to but it happened so you did it yeah it happened so we're good and we're closer than ever (laughs) That's right. Well, it's a great batch of songs, and I saw you got to tour on these songs finally. It was delayed, too, that you could got to go to Europe, right? Right. That was earlier this year? Yeah, in May. We were in Europe in the U.K. for our, our first time over there with our friends Peach Pit, who we had toured with in the States before. So, yeah, it was really good to hang out with them, play shows again, pretty nerve-wracking, <laughs> and uh, still kind of getting used to, to playing music again. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. That was amazing. All just collectively holding our breath, right, at all times? Pretty much, exactly. yeah. Well, what else has the last uh, couple years meant for you all, maybe creatively, because you do have new music, sounds like, on the way. It sounded tight. New one. We're going to debut here on yeah. WNXP. Yeah, we've been – we kind of started just demoing stuff uh, during quarantine. There was a couple things we would, like, send back and forth to each other, kind of just in our own home studios, and then – I would demo some things and just kind of got to a point where we had another record's worth, over a record's worth of songs. So, like, might as well record another record because it it can come out. Yeah. Yeah, that was. So are you at liberty to say where you are in process now as we record this interview? Uh, The record is finished. And that's about where we are. Done so. Where we are. (laughs) Figuring out the next steps, though. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But it was a spur moment decision to play a new one here, and now we get to play it on the radio. It's sick. Yeah, yeah. We love this. You'll hear it way before it comes out, but when it comes out, it'll all untitled be worth it. Untitled number one. Um, yeah, untitled song, song, one. song one. It's called Song One. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, speaking of Song One, you guys were uh, like teasing and sound checking some classic rock such as Lit, and um, what have you guys been digging on lately? What's inspiring you musically or just oh personally? Man. What do you just escape to? You guys go ahead. Yeah, Asher, you take this one. <laughs> we let Asher's music taste inform ours more than oh God. The other ways around. No, you don't. <laughs> That's true. Good they Charlotte. Compl- they complain about my music taste. <laughs> 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 they won't let me play. Uh, they might be giants near them. Oh, that's a um, shame. It's unfortunate, but uh, I don't know. Um, I think I know. I know Ben. And I have been listening to Teenage Fan Club a lot, mm. and a lot REM too. REM, the clientele. I think those are some of. I can yeah. say our our favorites. Yeah, I don't know about sure. <laughs> about Alex here. Yeah, I'm sweating so much. It's so hot. <laughs> Alex likes you. Bonnie Vare. I do like Bonnie Vare. I've been listening to wrong with that. Uh, the Replacements. Mm. He oh just mo- he just moved to <laughs> Minneapolis. <laughs> I also just moved to Minneapolis. Oh, so okay. I'm I am now visiting, but I've been listening to bands in Minneapolis. You're like a scholar now of the Twin uh, Cities. Hardly, like you have to <laughs> hardly at all. I'm just <laughs> trying to fit in. But jokes but aside, those are all like classic indie bands that yeah. your sound does uh, pull in some of those dynamics of just like, wow, this is a perfect pop song, but pop in the sense that the structure of the song yeah. um, is really great. So oh, thank I'm, using, you. I'm using my words mm-hmm. today. <laughs> thank you for using your words, using your melodies, playing us old music, new music, and plan tonight in town which means nothing for people watching this video but i hope that we can see you much more yeah with this new music coming out too awesome yeah, yeah. thank Agreed. you so much come thank back and you. visit we will mm-hmm. thanks for having all us all the time okay <laughs> thanks <laughs>